How are you tonight? I'm doing great. Toy Man Rick here, and you know, we introduced Doodle Jams about a week ago, and I wanted to talk about the single biggest comment I've heard, and that is, oh, it's just Orbeez in a plastic uh, bag. We can do this. We've done this. All of those comments. Well, after a lot of further research, since I'm the retailer, Sky Castle is the company that makes it, uh, I want to explain the difference between Orbeez as well as the beads inside the Doodle Jams. First of all, Orbeez is a non-toxic polymer, I've written some notes to get it right, that absorbs water and expands up to 200 to 400 times its size. It is safe non-toxic, and even if you ate and were bees, don't recommend it, you would just pass it through. Now, Doodle Jams is a thermoplastic rubber called TPR that you can add a sticky substance to and actually get them down to two millimeters. That's why the size is so important. Orbeez expands, Doodle Jams, actually makes things smaller and adds a sticky substance so you can move them around and they stay in place. Okay? So, it's not Orbeez in a plastic bag. It's Doodle Jams. And then the second big issue is, oh, it's going to rip open. It's going to, you know, tear. Well, one more time. Remember when I said Doodle Jams? So, we're going to actually cut it open so you can see what I'm talking about. And see, there's the little pellets of gel. And they stick because that's what's under this cover. And again, these are safe, but they don't expand. Okay? So, there you have it. And this cover is well manufactured to keep it safe but you'd have to get in there with a knife and, and all of that. So, with that, I hope that explains the biggest difference huh, on my fingers between Doodle Jams Gel, Doodle Jams Beads, and our friends at Orbeez. Okay? Both safe, both non-toxic, pass all safety standards. Thanks for listening, everybody. We'll talk to you soon on some new products as well. Doodle jams on!